Hi guys, you are watching GoIT Center and this video is going to be very important because in this video we will learn that how we can install the latest Windows 11.25 issue which is the most updated release from the Microsoft how we can do that and we will not use any third party software we will install directly through the Gen 1 method so let's start so first of all in order to download the ISO I have already typed the link Windows 11 downloads then you have to click on that then if you go on to this page then you will have 24H2 but we have to install most updated one so if you want to download 24H2 so you will have a link over here you can download from there but we are going to install the most updated version so we, we have to go on to the preview once you insert the preview then you have to sign in simply make your hotmail email id outlook or live email id and you have to log in it once you log in it then you will have a button here uh, that button will be more learn more then you have to click on that then register then you will have this page so we have to scroll down we have to scroll down scroll down scroll down and then we have to select the latest preview release which is this release preview channel build 2620 keep remember you have to download this one this is the most updated and reliable version so you have to click on that then you have to confirm once you confirm it will ask you to confirm your language this is very important step and you have to perform carefully you have to type CMD you have to type CMD but you have to run as an administrator otherwise you will not get the results run as administrator once you run as the administrator then then you have to type so you can see that my system language is English United States that's it then you have to select the language then confirm then you will have a 64 bit version then you have to click simply on to the download so it downloading will be started instantly and you can see the size of the uh, ISO it is 7.0 GB so it would take time so I, I have already downloaded it in order to save the time so ISO is already available inside my downloads folder you can see that 7.0 GB and then what you have to do you have to copy this then you have to come into the C drive and then you have to create one folder then you have to click on it then you have to paste it once you paste it it will take 5 to 10 seconds and then it will be copied since I have cut and copy that is why it is taking time so I cut from the download and put into the C drive folder once it is done then we have to right click on it and ex extract here so it will be extracted it will take around 20 30 seconds and then it will be extracted
so in this video we are going to install the windows 11 latest edition through the genuine process we will not use any third party software So it is done. Now we have to open the CMD. We have already opened the CMD through the administrator of access through the run as administrator. Now we have to type cd double dot, then cd double dot, then we have to type cd win 11. We will inside the cd 11, then dir. You will have a setup file. You will have a setup file. You can see that this one, and then you have to type setup, then space product product server then you have to hit enter once you hit enter then you will get an installation page you can see that and most importantly it will bypass all the hardware requirement because here we have played a little trick from the command line by using the keyword of product server it will bypass your all the hardware requirements so you can also install onto the old pc as well no need to worry about that so uh, let me check out the updates so updates will take time so for now i'm going uh, uh, through the not update uh, not right now but in your case you have to update so you have to download the update so you have to keep this option on for now, in order to save the time, I'm just clicking on to the second option, then next. Because update will take 15 to 20 minutes more. So in your case, you have to keep this option. You have to go with that option. Uh, since it is a demo, so I'm going for the option that is not update now. So it is checking your PC. accept we have to keep our files and data as it is we are going to upgrade and install it so we are going to keep our files and data and all the settings will be the same so no need to worry about that no tension so this option is already checked but if you want to select any other option so you can as per your requirement obviously we are going to keep our data and settings same so we are going with this option and you will see that after the installation all folders and files will be on to the same place where it is right now so hit next It will take around 5 to 10 seconds or maybe 5 to 10 minutes. I am going to stop this video. Uh, once this is done, then I will uh, resume this video. So final screen has been appeared, ready to install. And you can see that install Windows 11 Enterprises. Why Enterprises? It is installing via enterprises in your case maybe it will be pro license maybe it will be pro because before installing that I want to show my license if I check my license so you can see that my license edition is Windows 10 enterprise so maybe in your case you will have Windows 10 Pro maybe Windows 10 home edition so same license will be shifted onto the windows 11 same license will be shifted so if you have 
Windows 10 Pro, your Windows 11 license will be Windows 11 Pro. So if you have Enterprise, then you will have 11 Enterprise. So same license will be shifted. So no need to worry about the license and uh, you can see that windows is activated with the digital license so my windows is already activated after the installation i will show you the license as well so let's close it keep files and data as it is so let's install so windows is being installed in front of you installing windows server no need to confuse uh, through uh, because of this line because here we played a little trick product server if you remember that onto the command line and we didn't use any third party software it's just a simple trick because it will bypass your all the hardware requirements and uh, and you can easily install even onto the unsupported hardware let's say if you have any computer like 8 gb of ram fourth generation first generation second generation i3 i5 you can install on any computer through this way forward and without intervention of any third party software so it is fantastic so it will it would take around 30 minutes to one hour depending on to the installation because you check the size of the iso it was seven gigabyte so it would take around 30 minutes to, to one hour so i'm going to stop this video once done uh i will resume this video otherwise video will get very 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 longer so so hi guys welcome back so windows 11 has been installed successfully and uh, we have successfully upgraded windows 10 to windows 11. now let me show you a version first of all So you can see that you have the latest windows 11 25h2 we have installed to the genuine way forward and we didn't use any third party app or uh, we didn't you can see that in in the entire video uh, we didn't use any third party app so it is end to end safest windows upgrade way forward and you can go for that instantly we have also bypassed the hardware no matter at all that uh, what type of pc you have uh, you can install your you or upgrade windows 11 at any pc and uh, last thing i would like to show you the license activation settings so as I told you that uh, my license is Windows 11 Enterprise and Windows is activated so your license will be shifted from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and we have shifted in front of you successfully basically it has been shifted automatically so no need to worry about the license as well so now you have the genuine original latest windows 11 25 h2 you can enjoy your work and enjoy the latest features of windows 11 thank you so much for watching this video like subscribe hit the bell icon forward to your family and friends see you in the next video bye bye